Hi. Hola. Hi, here is Mr. Dose. This is Michael Bradley. Hey, I'm Memphis. Hey. Hola. Hello. I'm here with Soccer.com. 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 And I'm talking with my friends at Soccer.com. See you soon. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you the What's In My Soccer Bag video for the month of October 2016. Now for those that are unfamiliar with this series, this is where I go through all of the best products that I found myself using throughout the previous month and highlight them by filling up a soccer bag with apparel, equipment, as well as footwear. Now these are all items that I thought were worthy of being highlighted, kind of the best of the best if you will. Not necessarily stuff that I wore all at the same time, keep that in mind. Uh, and of course with all of these items you can go ahead and purchase them for yourself by clicking the first link down below or the little pop up on screen. That'll take you to the what's in my soccer bag page on my website where you'll find individual buy it now links with SR4U coupon codes for all of the items featured in today's video. So if you see something that you like, first link down below, a little pop up on screen, go ahead and check it out. And with that being said, let's get into the what's in my soccer bag video for October 2016. So for the month of October, I ended up sticking with the same duffel bag I've been using. This is from Under Armour, their undeniable duffel bag. It's the medium size, there's a small and a large as well, depending on what you need. The medium, as you can see here, I have stuffed to pretty much full capacity, available in a couple different colors. Retail price is $45 US. And it's a solid bag, really good quality materials. The zippers are heavy duty. It's got kind of like a weatherproofing on the bottom. So if you put it in wet grass, water's not gonna seep through. Has all the straps you could want, big central compartment, side pocket, front pocket. It's everything you need in a duffel bag, uh, simply put. So we'll open up the bag and take a look at what is on the inside, because that's obviously what everyone's here to see. So move this over to the side, and we'll start with the first item, which is actually a pair of Storelli Body Shield slider shorts, uh, which is something I've been wearing. This is their new EB edition. It just came out about a month and a half ago, so it's fairly new. And it's pretty much the same product as what we had from the previous slider short variation. The difference is actually the covering here for the pour on foam going down the sides. It's a little bit more rugged, a little bit more durable. Although I didn't really have any issues with the durability of the original variation. But like I said, they changed it up a little bit, used a slightly different material. And I would assume that the product is for the better durability wise than the previous generation. So worth keeping in mind if you are planning on buying a pair of these, they still offer the older model if that's something that you want. But like I said, this is the new version. It has not gone up in price. The retail price is still $54 US with an SR4U coupon code. And essentially they're compression shorts with built-in padding down the side of either leg. Forms exactly to the shape of your leg. You don't see it while you're wearing it. You don't feel it while you're wearing it. But having that little bit of extra padding really does go a long way when you take a side, a, a knock to the side of the leg, which is actually a pretty common thing. So move that over to the side. And we'll move on to a pair, not a pair, sorry, an actual training top. So this is a short sleeve training top. Uh, this one from Paris Saint Germain, PSG. Uh, this is their uh, Champions League 2016, 2017 uh, training top. Kind of matches their third kit with the holographic logos, which is something that I really, really like. So you'll notice there's a lot of this kind of uh, particular pack of apparel in this particular What's In My Soccer Bag video. But nonetheless, this is their new training top. You can see it's pretty much all black in color with the holographic logos, which is just a really cool little detail. Kind of changes color as it moves around in the light. You got the PSG crest and the Nike swoosh, this kind of faded white horizontal stripe thing going across the chest there, the white stripes on the arms, and the back is, for the most part, left completely blank. It's a Nike dry fit material, it's very fitted, um, which obviously a lot of people like, it's comfortable to wear, and uh, not, not, not really anything to complain about. Retail price is $60 US, so nothing too crazy as far as pricing is concerned, and again, it looks the part, so you can wear this casually, as well as for training, depending on what you like to wear casually, I suppose. Next, we of course have a pair of shorts. These are also from PSG and Nike. This is the third uh, Champions League kit for PSG. The, these are the shorts, obviously. White in color with the black tape band going down the side. Just like the Aeroswift uh, shorts, this does have that kind of elasticated seam going down the side. So it has some really good flexibility to it. Whereas the center part is kind of their standard high quality uh, kind of dry fit material, very, very nice. Again, you have the holographic Nike swoosh and the holographic PSG logos on either side. 
The back for the most part is left completely blank. Retail price on these is $50 US. So not super cheap obviously, but the quality is definitely there. And I definitely think that they look the part. Next, we're moving on to uh, when it was a little bit cooler or when I wasn't necessarily playing indoors because it's kind of that time of the year where you're kind of indoors and outdoors, especially in my area. Hasn't snowed yet, but it hasn't gotten super, super cold either. So I picked up this as a kind of long sleeve training top for colder weather. This is part of the new Nike Aeroswift collection. I made a video on this whole collection not too long ago, the Nike Strike Aeroswift collection, which is kind of their soccer specific line. And it's a quarter zip long sleeve training top. Uh, it does have the quarter zipper here with a little bit of a collar. And this material is just super high quality. It's very stretchy. All of the seams pretty much have no restrictiveness to them. And the sleeves themselves, they just fit extremely snug, but have a really incredible mobility for a long sleeve shirt. And considering how fitted it is, it just moves super naturally with your body. Very high quality materials, very comfortable to wear, provides decent warmth as well. And again, I think it looks very good, which is obviously important if you're gonna be spending a little bit of extra money on training apparel in general. This guy has a retail price of $120 US. It's available in quite a few different colors. This is the standard kind of black and white. Very, very simple. But again, looks the part, feels the part, performs the part. And I can honestly say it's probably one of the best long sleeve training tops that I've personally ever worn, just in terms of looks, as well as how it feels to wear it. Super, super flexible, almost no restrictiveness whatsoever. Next, we of course have a pair of training pants. Uh, these are also from that kind of PSG holographic collection. Uh, so this is the training pant, uh, again, for the kind of Champions League, it's their squad pants. Retail price is $70 US. And essentially, it's a soccer specific training pant, as you would expect. Has the, the tapered legs, as you can see, with the zippers there on the bottom. So you can actually take them on, take them off, sorry, and put them on with your cleats on just because it does have the zippers, which is kind of nice depending on what you like. You have the little kind of white stripe here going down the side uh, of the, uh, from the waist basically to the knee area. And then again, you do get the holographic PSG and Nike logos there on either leg, which look very good. Zipper pockets on both sides. And again, the quality is very good. It's Nike standard dry fit material. And uh, they're decently warm as well. Not super thick, because obviously you don't want them to be too thick, uh, but very comfortable to wear. And again, I think they look the part, which is always important with any of this kind of more expensive training gear. Um, as far as a jacket is concerned, I actually picked up this rain jacket, which I thought was really, really nice. It's probably the nicest rain jacket that I've personally ever owned. This is uh, from Nike and it's what they call their Nike Waterproof 2.5 jacket. So I think the name kind of says it all, Nike Waterproof Jacket. And it really is that. This does have a built-in hood for those that are wondering. Uh, and basically this material, it's kind of like a rubberized textile, I guess is the best way to put it. All of the seams are kind of fused over. So there's really nothing for water to seep through and the material itself is just super, super water resistant. It doesn't absorb any water. It just kind of beads off. It's almost like this thing is covered in some kind of waterproof coating or the material itself, just like I said, does not absorb water whatsoever. And it's a standard jacket aside from the material itself. You got the zipper obviously there on the front, two standard pockets, one pocket here on the chest. Um, it's got the little kind of elasticated not elasticated, the Velcro kind of uh, wrist area. So you can tighten that up or keep it loose depending on how you like to do that. It does have the built-in hood. So if you do want to have your head covered uh, while you're actually wearing this in the rain, that is definitely very doable. And then the back is pretty much left completely blank. But again, super, super water resistant. Uh, you're basically going to be completely dry while wearing this jacket all zipped up in the rain, which I thought was really, really impressive. It's not cheap though. The retail price is $200 US. Uh, but again, it's legitimately waterproof while you're actually wearing it. So that is to me a really big plus and I've never really had a, a, a rain jacket as good as this one actually is. Moving on to socks. I picked up these guys right here. These are the Real Madrid third socks. Uh, this is their match sock, obviously. Retail price is $25 US, so nothing too crazy. It's kind of the norm for this style of sock, being that it is the one that the pros actually wear. Um, and as you can see, it's a pretty standard coloring. You have all black. The front has the RMCF, Real Madrid. Uh, RMCF. What does the C stand for? Oh, Real Madrid Club Football. It's, it's in Spanish. <laughs> My bad there. And then you have the Adidas logo there on the back. Uh, and then of course at the top, kind of matching the kits themselves, you have this 
kind of like light muted purple color. It's almost like a grayish purple. You fold it over and it reveals the little Adidas stripes there on the back, which is kind of a cool little design feature. And the socks themselves are really, really nice. The foot area is super thin and super stretchy, which I actually really like. So if you like really heavily padded socks, maybe not the best option for you, but these are super, super thin, fit extremely well, and they're very comfortable to wear. They're high quality socks as you would expect. And for $25, if you just want the Real Madrid team socks, I guess you can't really go wrong with these. As far as other training socks go, I really like to wear these as of late. These are the Nike Nike Grip socks. Uh, this is kind of their competitor to True Socks, uh, but not really the same thing. I do have a video up on my channel that kind of goes over the details, my review video where I explain what the differences are in comparison to True Socks and what these are exactly, what makes them different from a regular pair of socks. This is obviously a crew sock length variation, which retail for about $28, so they are relatively expensive for what they are. A little bit cheaper than True Socks, but again, not really the same type of product. Nonetheless, very, very good training socks in my opinion. And if you're just interested in learning more, be sure to go ahead and check out my review. So I'll put those over to the side and move on to Shin Guard and Shin Guard accessories. Uh, the first piece of Shin Guard, uh, I guess, apparel that I wear uh, pretty much every time I am wearing Shin Guards are these guys right here. These are the Storelli Body Shield uh, leg sleeves. Now this is a leg sleeve obviously to hold your shin guards in place. It has a built-in pocket here on the front and because of the design of the sleeve, uh, the actual uh, pocket itself holds the shin guards and doesn't allow it to fall through the bottom. So this kind of eliminates the need for tape. The sleeve itself stays in place really nicely in that it does have the kind of rubberized silicone material on the top and bottom on the inside of the actual bands. The quality is very nice. And then of course you have the pour on fat padding going down the outside of your calf. Kind of similar to the same foam you find on the slider shorts, which really does add that little extra level of protection that you wouldn't normally have. It's an area your shin guards don't cover. And again, you don't feel it, you don't see it, but when you do make contact or someone else does make contact to the side of your leg, you really appreciate having that little bit of extra padding. These guys retail for $30 US, which is nothing too crazy, but considering that you can spend that easily uh, in buying tape over the course of a season, it's actually a pretty decent value. So I'll move those over to the side and of course go to shin guards. Now shin guards, really I haven't changed these guys. I know a lot of you guys asked me to feature something else, but this is, in my opinion, the best shin guard out there by a mile right now. There really isn't anything that comes close. These are from C6 Agility. This is their third gen carb carbon fiber shin guard. Retail price is $135 with an SR4U coupon code. So very, very expensive, but really the last pair of shin guards that you'll ever need. They are made from aerospace grade carbon fiber material, handmade in the US, super thin, super light, super form fitting. They're essentially the best, most protective shin guards, but also the most minimal shin guards that money can buy. It's everything you could possibly want in a pair of shin guards in one single product. The quality is amazing. The fit is amazing. They're super light. They're super thin. Uh, there's really not much to complain about. I'm not sure how they can improve upon a product like this. So again, if you are looking for a pair of super, super good shin guards that you'll never need to replace for at least a very long time, uh, this is definitely a product that I can very, very strongly recommend. So move those over to the side and move on to an actual ball. So this is a ball that I've had for the entire month. I haven't made a video on these as of yet. I have the winter ball and the regular variation. This is the winter ball variation, as you can see in the very brightly colored orange. And this is the European qualifiers ball for 1617 uh, for the World Cup in 2018. So basically Adidas has released a ball for the qualification stages, which is what we see right here. Uh, it has some pretty cool graphics on it. It's essentially a bazooka variant. Uh, so for those that are familiar with uh, the 2014 World Cup ball, this is kind of the same panel shape, the same panel design. And then likely for the actual 2018 World Cup, we will probably see a brand new design. It won't be this ball with new graphics again. So that's kind of exciting in itself, but that's still two years away. As of right now, this is available. It's a pretty interesting design in terms of having these really high quality graphics within the actual kind of X pattern that they've incorporated here. Uh, it's a $160 match ball. Uh, this one is available. You can get it for around $120, so $40 off the normal retail price in the winter ball or just standard variation, which is obviously white. But nonetheless, pretty cool looking ball, very good performer. Again, you kind of get what you pay for with these top end match balls, something I've talked about before. Uh, but that's kind of what I've been using as of late uh, when I just bring a single soccer ball to the field. Um, 
for the month of October, just because it is kind of a transitional period, uh, at least where I live, a lot of the seasons have ended, not very much practicing happening, stuff like that. The weather is kind of changing uh, from kind of fall to winter pretty dramatically. Uh, so I haven't played as much soccer this month as I perhaps would have liked to, but I did do a lot of training. So as far as training footwear is concerned, this is a pair that I've been wearing quite a bit. Uh, these are the Nike Train Speed 4s. This is the CR7 colorway. These were featured in a new stuff video that I did not too long ago. I haven't done a review on them as of yet, but look forward to that over the next week or two. Essentially, this is a kind of all-purpose training shoe from Nike. The retail price on a regular colorway is $100 US, so they're fairly inexpensive as far as training shoes go, and they're very good. It's kind of a Nike freestyle design in that it's very flexible. It's pretty low profile. It's a fairly flat outsole as well, completely flat bottom. Good amount of rubber on the bottom as well. And then the upper is kind of like a fused material in combination with uh, some flywire cables that really do a good job of holding your foot in place. They're decently lightweight. They move very naturally with your foot and you can pretty much do anything you want in them. For those of you guys that saw my training video, uh, the soccer specific training where I was doing some squats, I was actually wearing these shoes in the video. You couldn't really see it unfortunately, but uh, this is what I was wearing. This is kind of what I've been doing most of my leg days in for the last month or so. Uh, and again, very good shoes, highly recommended if you're just looking for a good of a good pair of fairly inexpensive kind of all-purpose trainers. So I'll move these right here and we'll move on to actually a second pair of training shoes that I've been wearing and this I did make a video on. These are the Nike Train Ultra Fast Flyknit training shoes. Very cool shoe in that it does have this interesting mid-cut design. But the reason why I, I wanted to highlight these in this video is one, I wore them a lot in October, and two, I think it's the most impressive Flyknit sneaker that I've personally ever worn. Uh, very high quality Flyknit material, and it incorporates flywire cables in a very interesting way that is super, super effective in terms of securing your foot inside of the shoe. The way the shoe fits and feels on your foot I just think is super unique, uh, very comfortable obviously, and again, kind of as an all-purpose trainer that's relatively flat, you got some decent flexibility to it. You can pretty much do anything that you want in these. The mid-cut aspect to me doesn't necessarily make it the greatest as kind of a, a running shoe if you're gonna be running long distances, but for sprinting and jumping and stuff like that, these are absolutely fantastic. Again, you got a completely flat bottom, so you can pretty much do anything you want. Stability is very good. Lots of rubber down there as well. Uh, and again, just a very, very good sneaker. This is a CR7 colorway, which retails for a little bit more. You can get these on sale at the moment, but a regular ultra fast trainer retails for around $130 US. So not super, super cheap, but not overly expensive either. And again, a really solid option if you're looking for a good pair of training shoes. Finally, we have some actual soccer cleats, which there hasn't been a lot of new releases as of late. I and mean, because of that, I kind of just went back to certain shoes that I enjoyed wearing or was just kind of curious to wear again. And the one shoe for me was the Hypervenom Finish. This is the newer variation of the finish with of course the first generation kind of honeycomb Nike skin upper that we saw in the original Phantom. And this is just a very good shoe in my opinion. I know most of the attention goes to the Hypervenom Phantom too just because of the mid cut collar. This is the exact same upper with a little bit of variation in the one piece design here where the laces are, which I think this is a lot more streamlined, a lot less bulky, and it just feels better on the shoe. And then of course you get the standard low cut, which honestly, there, there really is no reason to put a collar on a Hypervenom Phantom 2 or this shoe in general. I really think it is much better suited as the finish variation. It's more comfortable, I think it fits very good. I was a big fan of the original Hypervenom Phantom. And for me, the finish uh, in this newer variation with the older upper, has everything that you got from that original Phantom, but it improves upon that shoe in regards to stability and just general um, responsiveness. You get the flywire cables, the one piece design, really do their part in terms of just reinforcing the uppers, uh, the upper in a way that you just couldn't get from the original Phantom. They don't overstretch like the original shoes. And again, the experience of wearing them, I just think is very, very good. One of the more underrated top end models from Nike at the moment. And if you were interested in the Phantom too, please consider the finish as well. It's cheaper, and in my opinion, I think it's a better variation out of the finish and the Phantom 2. So I'll put these right here, and then we'll move on to the final pair, which is kind of an unexciting choice, but it's these guys right here. This is the Nike Tiempo Legend 6. Uh, this is a shoe that is my personal favorite at the moment. If I'm picking anything to wear right now, it is the Legend 6. 
Uh, I just find this shoe very comfortable. I like the classic leather feel. I've always been a fan of that. And given the one piece upper and the internal support cage that they've incorporated into this upper as well, you get that kind of modern responsiveness that you wouldn't necessarily get from something like a Copa Mundial or even a Nike Premier, just a more, uh, I guess, traditional, simple design in regards to a leather soccer shoe. These though, like I said, has that modern feel, it has that modern fit, but you still get the old school traditional softness of the leather and just general comfort. The stud pattern I think is very good as well. And it's just a very solid all around shoe if you like the feel of natural leather. So for $210, that's the retail price on these guys. You can get a lot of the older colorways on sale. I think it's a really solid option. If you've never worn a leather shoe before and you're interested to try it out, I think that the Legend 6 is again, one of those shoes that should be on your radar. So that is pretty much it for the What's In My Soccer Bag for October. All right guys, that is it for the What's In My Soccer Bag video for October 2016. Again, if you did see something in today's video that you're interested in, first link down below or the little eye in the corner of the screen, that'll take you to the What's In My Soccer Bag page on my website, where you'll find individual buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes for every single item in today's video. So again, first link down below, little eye on screen, go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions regarding any of the items in today's video, leave them down below in the comments and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information linked in the description as well. And other than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.